Hello everyone, in this presentation I'm going to talk to you about star review for Algebra 1. If you have any questions, you can reach me at extension 8762 or by email rcastle at mesquiteisd.org. When reviewing for star, we need to make sure that we're using our class data on CFAs and district checkpoints to drive our decisions for what to review. We want to stick with the bang for your buck teaks first and then make our way out from those using your data to determine which teaks you want to go after and remediate during your reteach time. However, we want to make sure that we're not teaching in seclusion. What I mean by that is we don't want to spend a day reteaching and reviewing the same thing for the entire day. Obviously, STAR is 54 questions that are all mixed together, and so students need practice understanding how and when to pull the correct tool out of their tool bag when answering the question. With all of that in mind, here are some resources to get you started. For daily vocab practice, I have created the Quiz Quiz Trade Cards for Linear, Quadratic, and Exponential Functions. This is a great way to start our in-class and get kids moving and talking about some major concepts and easy to answer questions on the STAR exam. We also have the Spiraling Review Worksheets that we saw last year. These are meant to spiral in the bang for your buck teaks so that students get constant practice on these questions. I would suggest using these in class and giving students immediate feedback. Aggressive monitoring is essential to these practices being beneficial for the student. They must know if they are answering questions correctly and receive immediate help if they are struggling. Not only do we have a group A for our lowest students who scored less than 50% on average on the district checkpoints, but there's also a second set of spiraling review worksheets for group B, which is that set of students that averaged more than 50% on their four district checkpoints. You'll notice the difference between these is the number of times the bang for your buck questions are asked. For group A, which is our lower group, we're asking the same questions almost every day. On group B, we're only asking those same teaks perhaps every other day, and then mixing in additional standards and question types in order to help those students either stay at meets or potentially even get up to masters by the time STAR is here. We also have a Solving for Why set of practice worksheets, which is for students who are able to solve for why. Students who can solve for why open themselves up to around 20 to 25 questions that can be correctly answered because of Desmos and using technology. I would recommend that you determine your group who can solve for why either by determining their warm-ups all year long and their success rate at solving for why, their DCP results, or giving a pre-assessment that you can find on the resource page. We also have a regression set of practice worksheets, which is mostly for your approaches group. The idea here is to give students practice using the linear regression equation to identify slope so that we can get the two to three questions that will be asked on slope correct on the star. Meets and Masters group students will be practicing slope in their spiral review as group B, so you don't have to focus on this as much for your higher level students. We also have this activity where students will get practice eliminating wrong answers. This is useful for all students, but especially those who are trying to get to approaches. There are three different ways that you can give this activity, either as a pair deck, a gallery walk, or a Desmos activity. While I'm talking about Desmos activities, I want to also let you know that the spiraling reviews, the But I Regress, and the Can You Solve For Why activities are all in Desmos activities format as well that can be self-checking for the students. For 8th grade advanced classes, we know that every TEAK matters. Every standard is bang for your buck because our goal is to try to get all of those kids to at least meets and a very high percentage to masters. So we want to make sure that when we are reviewing, we are at least touching on all of the content. You will be receiving in early April a booklet that has all of the TEAKs in it and several of the released items for you to go through with your classes. 
My recommendation is that you spend the first week of STAR review having students complete this booklet and then the final two weeks of STAR review really hammering down into those really uh, the question types that tend to show up the most so that we can make sure that we get adequate practice on the things that will show up the most with the most frequency on the STAR test. We want to make sure that we're making things fun and engaging whenever possible. I have provided several templates for you that you can use to turn some of the worksheets into digital activities. I would also consider providing rewards for students who answer questions correctly. This can give students the needed motivation in order to complete these practices and get better in terms of answering questions on the STAR test. There are also two activities that you could consider using with your class that are engaging. We have a haunted house breakout for STAR vocabulary and a bang for your buck clue activity based on Boy Meets World. Both of these activities would be good to use if you notice that your students are needing some engagement. The last thing I want to mention is that you will want to make sure that your students have an opportunity to practice on the online platform that they will be taking the test on. Cambium is the new testing platform for the state of Texas this year, and you'll want to make sure that you give students the opportunity to go in and see how they will access Desmos and what tools are available to them whenever they are answering questions and taking their STAR test. You can find the link to the practice test in the STAR resource page so that your students can have this opportunity. Thank you for watching this video and again if you have any questions please feel free to reach out either by phone or by email.